Hi, thanks for coming out today. Today we're going to give you a little video on how to make a burner from parts really available at the hardware store. These are the parts that we need. You'll also need some stainless pipe. Black iron will work as well. We like stainless, it lasts longer. You'll need a drill press. This is my micro drill press. You'll also need a regular drill press. We'll get to that in just a minute. First, we're gonna wrap tape around the non-compression fittings, meaning the eighth to quarter bushing, the quarter to three-eighths bushing, and the cap that we're gonna use for the orifice. Do not wrap tape around this end of this bushing. It doesn't do any good. First, let's get our cap ready. Over here we've got our little cap put in the vise already. It's square in one end makes it easy to line it up. We got a roughly 3 16 drill bit. We're going to go not very far in. Just a hair further. Perfect. Can you get that? Mm -hmm. What we've done, we've extended the hole down to about here on this cap, so when we drill through here, you'd be able to get gas flowing through. We take it over to the micro drill press. This is a, a .042 Hole. Now, have a .042 orifice in there. Mm. That will give us roughly 108,000 BTU. Okay, now that we have our orifice drilled out, we go to our jig. Now what this does, this holds this at the proper level for this. It's just an aid that I have built up to do these mask on and we will weld this. Occasionally Bend that just a hair just to get it lined up perfectly. If it doesn't discolor here, that means it didn't get penetration. Now, just to show you how we do it with our burners that we sell, we have these parts which we had custom made for us. They are steel and nickel plated. It replaces this part and this and this iron bushing. So the eight dollars worth of bushings is replaced by a 40 cent part from China mm -hmm. if you need 10,000 of them.
just that easy. We'll go ahead and do that once more just to show you. You can see the discoloration on the threads. That means we got a good full penetration there. All right, we gave it a few minutes for these to cool down. Now when we put our orifice in, we need to make sure that this part points downward. You can see it there. Don't over tighten it, you don't need to strip it. But just enough mm -hmm. so it's parallel We're off just a hair. Tighten it up a little. Doesn't have to be super tight. That's what the, the propane Teflon tape. Yes, if it's not yellow, it's not Teflon rated. Or it's not propane rated. If you're using the white stuff, don't. It's not the right stuff. There you go, there is a 100,000 BTU propane burner. And here are two that we make. We've made a couple thousand of these now. Again, there's the hole. Make sure the hole is pointing down the chamber. Make sure it's parallel to the ground. Don't over tighten. Just that easy. Thanks for watching.